Hello, I'm Kwame, bringing you more Dataset Insights. I recently published a comprehensive portfolio exercise containing SQL, Excel, and Tableau segments, all interconnected to clearly demonstrate the data analysis process and what can be expected of you as a data analyst. That video has turned out to be a big success for me, racking up thousands of views and hundreds of subscribers in just a few days of release with unanimous positive reviews for the layout of the exercise and for my teaching style. I wasn't expecting any of that praise, so thank you. It encourages me to make more videos like it. The portfolio exercise is over an hour and 30 minutes long, so if you don't have enough time to go over it in its entirety, this video provides a brief overview of what it's all about. In the theoretical exercise, I assume the role of a data analyst who works for a bicycle retailer with three different locations in the United States. My manager came up to me one day requesting a comprehensive report of the company's performance over the 2016 to 2018 period. I had the liberty of designing the report however I wanted and needed to make sure I included all the information management would need to make informed decisions. To create it, I needed to use SQL, Excel, and Tableau. The first thing I did was write a detailed SQL query to pull the necessary data from the company's database. Here is the query I wrote. Now, this query might look long and complicated at first glance, but it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. The hardest part was pulling the data from eight separate tables and using direct and indirect joints to connect them in this query. Here is the result. So using my judgment, this is the information that I deem management will need for their decision making. The next thing I did was import the SQL generated data into an Excel workbook and created an interactive executive dashboard for management. Here is the workbook. I have one worksheet for the imported SQL data, as you can see here. I have a second worksheet that I use to create a series of pivot tables for the graphs and charts I need for the executive dashboard. And finally, I have a worksheet for the executive dashboard itself. This dashboard is interactive thanks to the use of the slices you see here on the left side of the dashboard. So I am able to filter this dashboard by the year, by the state, and by the stored name. And the dashboard contains a total revenues or revenues per year chart, a revenue per month chart, a revenue per state chart, a revenue per store chart, a revenue per brand, and a revenue per product category charts. And finally, a top 10 customers and revenue per sales rep charts. Finally, I connected the SQL generated Excel data to a Tableau and created an even more interactive executive dashboard using many of the tools provided by Tableau. This is what I ended up with. So as you can see, this dashboard is basically the same as the executive dashboard I created using Excel with the same graphs and charts and the same filter actions. In this case, I can filter by the year as well as by the state. So if I click on 2016, the dashboard and all the graphs will change to reflect my selection. If I click on 2018, the same thing will happen. If I change the state from all to California, the graphs will once again change to reflect my selection. And ditto for New York. That's about it. You can access the entire portfolio exercise, see how I achieved the results, and follow along at your own pace by clicking the link shown at the top right of this video or in the description. 
The exercise includes timestamps that allow you to jump in between the SQL, Excel, and Tableau sections and subsections. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you once again for your interest.